multiplication and division of positive and negative numbers. Let's start by using our algebra tiles to model multiplication. Remember, 3 times 5 means that I have 3 sets of 5 positive items, or 15. We already know that we have a positive number times a positive number. We'll get a positive answer. That's what we've been working with up until now. So what if I had 3 times negative 5? Well, that would be 3 sets of negative 5, or negative 15. What about negative 3 times 5? We can't have negative 3 sets of something, so what can we do? Well, since one meaning of the negative sign is the opposite of, we can solve this problem by doing 3 times 5, and then taking the opposite of that answer, and we'll do that by flipping the tiles over. So you can see that we'll end up with negative 15. That answer makes sense. Since it doesn't matter what order you multiply the numbers in, we could have written the problem as 5 times negative 3, and we'll get negative 15. Either way I looked at the problem, the answer is still negative 15. And we can say that if we're multiplying a positive number and a negative number, the answer will be negative. Now let's consider negative 3 times negative 5. Again, we will think of the negative sign as meaning the opposite of. So you could solve this problem by doing 3 times negative 5, and then taking the opposite of that answer. 3 times negative 5 was negative 15, and the opposite of that is positive 15. Okay, so a negative times a negative gives me a positive answer. That seems a little less obvious to me. So let's see if we can look at the problem a different way. We have already shown that negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. And since a negative times positive is a negative, that means negative 3 times 4 is negative 12, and negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. I'm starting to see a pattern here, so let's continue this. If I was to add 3 to negative 9, I would get negative 6. And negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3, and negative 3 times 0 is 0 since any number times 0 is 0. What about negative 3 times negative 1? While continuing the pattern, we'll add 3 to 0, and that would give us 3. And negative 3 times negative 2 would be 6, and negative 3 times negative 3 is 9, negative 3 times negative 4 is 12, and negative 3 times negative 5 is 15, just like we got before. In fact, whenever we multiply two negative numbers, the product is going to be positive. Okay, we've now looked at the rules for multiplication. What about division? Do you remember learning the family of facts when you first started to multiply and divide? Let's look at the family of facts for 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. Next we'd have negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. Negative 15 divided by 3 is negative 5. Just like with multiplication, when we have a negative and we divide it by a positive, we get a negative. The last one being negative 15 divided by negative 5 is positive 3. And again, just like with multiplication, in division, when we divide a negative by a negative, we get a positive answer. In fact, the rules for both multiplication and division of positive and negative numbers are the same. If two numbers have the same sign, then the solution is positive. And if two numbers have different signs, then the solution is negative. Let's try a couple of examples. Most weather activity occurs between the ground and 11 kilometers above the ground. The temperature in this space drops about 7 degrees Celsius for each kilometer in altitude. High-level clouds can reach heights of 6 kilometers. If the ground temperature is zero, what would the temperature be 6 kilometers up? Take a minute and pause the video and try to solve it on your own. When you're done, unpause and we'll go over the problem. The problem says that for each kilometer we go up, we drop 7 degrees Celsius. Or we could say that's negative 7 degrees. And we're also interested in the temperature 6 kilometers above the ground. Well, to solve this, that'd be negative 7 times 6, or negative 42. So if the temperature is 0 on the ground, the temperature at the tallest clouds, 6 kilometers up, would be negative 42 degrees Celsius. Suppose we're at 3 kilometers above the surface, and the temperature is zero. What would the ground temperature be then? Again, pause the video and try to solve on your own. When you're ready, unpause and we'll go over it together. We're talking about a situation where we'll be going down 3 kilometers. So, the distance is negative 3 kilometers, and our problem would be negative 7 degrees Celsius times the negative 3. 
and that means we'd expect the temperature on the ground to be a positive 21 degrees Celsius. So let's look at another situation. In September of 2013, a British-led team set the world record for the deepest salvage operation in history. The team recovered 100 tons of silver coins from the wreck of a British steamship that was sunk in 1942 during World War II. It took 3.5 hours for the team's remotely operated vehicle, or ROV, to descend 5,150 meter journey from the ship to the site of the wreck. Find the average rate of descent in meters per hour to the nearest hole number. Pause the video and try this on your own. When you're ready, we'll go over it. The remotely operated vehicle is going negative 150 meters since they're going down below sea level. It takes them three and a half hours. To find the average rate of descent, we would divide negative 5,150 by 3.5. To do this, we divide normally, and since a negative divided by a positive is a negative, the answer is negative. So let's see, we'll move the decimal over, 35 divided into 51 one time, we subtract, we get 16, 35 goes into 165 four times, subtract 140, and we get 25, bring down the zero, 35 goes into 250 seven times, subtract so our answer is negative 1,471 and 15 35ths. Since 15 35ths is less than a half, we should round the final answer to negative 1,471 meters per hour. So the rules for multiplying and dividing both positive and negative numbers are the same. If the signs are the same, my final answer will be positive. If the signs are different, my final answer will be negative.